auspicious month. The other day, an object about the size of Jupiter, sorry, about the size of our moon, crashed into the planet Jupiter. Now, if you've seen the other videos on this channel, this is an auspicious month, both good and bad, concerning the lunar cycle. It's ultimately a threshold moment towards something of purification and salvation, but the old saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And we're in the middle of this process right now, towards the end of that process. Now, this lunar cycle begins with the beginning of the month and ends on the 30th. We're coming up to the full moon. This is this is a month with two new moons in it. It's significant because, as I said, it is the cutoff point of a, a release of toxic energy, which is ultimately a release of good energy, which, Beelzebub in town, which ultimately was needed to clear out certain things. It began with the winter solstice of 2018 and the full moon that took, was an eclipse that took place around that time. And the power switched from a Diana, Cynthia energy force, and we're now into a Luciferian energy force. On, and then after this, we will probably come into Apollo. I don't, I won't know until it happens. Now, I'll stop annoying you with this, this tennis ball. Okay, the signs have unfolded everywhere. You've seen what I've been through this year, and. Uh, it was okay, didn't matter in the end, it was just what it was. And uh, we're all still here and we're all still alive and energies have been cleared out. And uh, that's just how life is. Uh, sunrise, sunset, sunrise again. Now, as you all know, I'm a big fan of HP Lovecraft and one of the reasons I'm such an admirer of the man's writing and his visionary repressed instinctual sh shamanistic state is because he has an ability to describe evil that I don't think any other author has. The purity of absolute evil, this Imperium Diabolica, as I've just sort of named it right now, he it's he, he it's he can't even describe it sometimes he just it's the color out of space it's the shadow out of time the hunter in the dark it's 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 an indescribable sense of absolute dread of evil and horror that's incomprehensible to us in our normal states of consciousness you all know I've been having these recurrent dreams for years now of a house that has an indescribable horror and sense of terror and dread inside it, around it, upstairs it's particularly. And I've looked into every aspect of Jungian psychology, metaphysics, you name it. And I still cannot fully understand what it represents on any kind of psychological level, except that it is absolute evil trying to destroy me. And this evil has been off after me since I wrote the book, Puzzling People, The Labyrinth of the Psychopath, and opened a small window in my little tiny world of the obscure person that I am, who's I wouldn't even call myself famous. I'd say I was, I'm, I'm slightly less obscure than I was probably meant to be in, in terms of this, my experience on this planet. And I opened a small hole that people looked through to see the real evil behind this world. And what happened was the evil came through that hole at me and has been ever since. And I think I have an understanding of the nature of evil that's, quite unique in for many people I'm not saying I'm the only one but it's quite unique and that's why I hardly ever talk about the subject anymore because it's it's a predator that's trying to be has been trying to kill me ever since and it has infected people around me that I, 
Uh, this is why I can't be friends with drug addicts, I can't be friends with alcoholics, I can't be friends with people with mental illness. It affects them, it infects and pollutes them to try and get at me. Uh, anyone with hormonal issues, uh, cults, it, it, it just infects them as a means to attack me. And that's okay, I understand that this is the, the burden I have to carry in this life. But I have a great sense of humour and a good ability for satire and this is what keeps me alive. And this brings us to the Epstein thing. And I want to talk about the Epstein thing once, just fucking once and that's the end of it. Uh, I wasn't surprised, I don't think any of us were surprised, when he was found, well, when they told us he was found dead in his prison cell in New York yesterday. Dead men tell no tales is a Lee Harvey Oswald moment. It doesn't matter if he killed himself, if he was murdered, or if they, they took a homeless person that looked like him, put them in the cell and got him out. That was his kind of like his, his plea bargain protection racket to keep him, to keep him safe. He could be in Israel or anywhere now. We don't know. We'll never know. We'll, like I keep telling you, for uh, stop this thing. That, that stop being led by people who say, we're going to take down the elites, man. We're going to smash the elites. You have not a, got a fucking clue. You're a pub team playing in the Champions League final against Barcelona. You don't even understand the level of pure evil, the Imperium Diabolica that you stepped into. It's not for everyone. I don't know how it hasn't killed me yet, uh, but I'm here. Something is keeping me alive. Well, you guys are keeping me alive. And uh, your love and your support keeps me alive. And uh, <sighs> so I posted about it yesterday and I said, you know, I said, you know, the, the, thing, the main thing I said was, don't assume he's dead. Don't assume he's dead. Uh, they probably could have got a homeless guy or a junkie or anyone, anyone. And who looks moderately like him, same build, same height, same hairstyle, and put them in the head in the cell and killed them. If someone's been strangled after a few hours of lying overnight, the face is all swollen and purple, and uh, and there'll be piss all over the, the piss and shit all over the floor of the cell, and uh, rigor mortis and bloating would already have set in. And so any guard who saw that would between the the stress and dealing with the 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 the, the the visceral nature of finding someone with a purple head <clears throat> or his head may have even been come off in the attempt that we don't know but uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter and I posted one or two threads and then I said then I deleted them all down I deleted them all down because I was becoming becoming overwhelmed and in not I wouldn't say the word intoxicated I would say poisoned by that same sense of indescribable evil. And that's what we're dealing with here, an indescribable evil and the people behind us. And people are all laughing and saying, good, he's dead, but it's not good that he's dead because there are hundreds if not thousands of young people and children who and their families and parents who will not receive justice now and the people that should have went down for it, they never will of course, now can not only got away with their past wickedness, but they've, they've now free reign to continue it on further. And that's the world you live in. There is no justice. There is, karma is a self-made thing. There is no, there is no John Wayne riding in at the end of the day it from the sunset to shoot up the gunslingers in the town. The gunslingers and John Wayne and the sunset and the town and your hopes of justice, of retribution, of a better world is owned by the Imperium Diabolica. It's as simple as that. So does this create a sense of, well, what's the fucking point of living? Well, the point of living is once you and your loved ones are safe, that's enough. Uh, the crusader mentality was invented to have you destroy yourself as a crusader or an activist or a freedom fighter in order to feed the Imperium Diabolica. 
It's as simple as that. Yeah, uh, back to the Lovecraft analogy again. Uh, I totally believe and subscribe to his idea that we should not be trying to contact aliens. You hear that? There's a, there's a road race starting today at the army base. That's just the PA you're hearing in the background. At the, the Air Corps base. And uh, actually it is an army base because Ireland doesn't have an air force to... The the air, the air part of our defence services a branch of the army. Anyway, that's not an issue. Uh, and they're all the ones I know are all great people. Now, uh, where was I? Yeah, the, it, it, you you get an insight. So the thing is, once your loved ones and your ha your you know, you and your family, loved ones are safe, that's the best you can do. And that's that's a noble and no no mean feat in this world to achieve that. If you can take fun from watching tennis or soccer or American football or hockey, uh, Broadway musicals, rock music, romance, go for it. Because that's what you're really here for. That's what you're really here to enjoy. And the Imperium Diabolica wants you angry. It wants to suck you in. Now, that doesn't mean you should be an innocent lamb. That means you are aware. You're a sheep in the field aware of the slaughterhouse. And there's either two things going to happen here. You're going to be rescued and saved, highly unlikely. Or you'll be slaughtered eventually. And until you're slaughtered, you enjoy being in the field. We've got to wake up the sheep, man. We've got to wake up the sheep. No, you don't. But once you're awake, and you and your loved ones are safe, you won. Now, so these things like Epstein have a t double factor. One is to protect the beast, and there's no there's no sealed indictments. There's no unsealed indictments. They don't exist. That's that's a that's like a flat earth. It's a mirage. It's a shimmera. It is a facade to make you believe that there is salvation. This this lie that has been put into you by Rabbi. Yeshua and his demon god Jehovah. You need to stop that. You need to be the serpent in the Garden of Eden. That's what you need to be, telling Eve he's a cunt. And you are not in the wilderness, you are in paradise where Jehovah wants you is in the Imperium Diabolica. Now, <laughs> nature, you know, this is a wilderness. Some chap was on the tread about Epstein and he said, the satanic elite have gotten away with it again. I said, no, my friend, the Abrahamic elite, they're all either Christians, Jews, Muslims, or atheists. The Abrahamic elite. The Satanists are your friends. Satan, satanic simply means an adversary. And I am a Luciferian pagan. But if people call me a Satanist, I will wear that with pride. Because I am an adversary of the bullshit that took place in Epstein's cell yesterday. An Abrahamic fiasco to keep you trapped in to worshipping the demon Jehovah because his bastard offspring Rabbi Yeshua told you if you do what he says maybe that thing Jehovah won't put you in a lake of fire and you call that a religion now there is no lake of fire there is none what you experience with this Epstein thing this diabolical Imperium that is the lake of fire. You get an insight. Now, I have to say, I was proud of many people who turned around and made fun of it and posted some very, very funny memes involving the Arkansas demons. And you know who they are? The woman, if we can call her that, who was almost president of the United States and would have led us into a, a nuclear holocaust with Russia, who is 
furious that she did not get to cull the human race and squirt in her knickers the way she did when she was told Gaddafi it was uh, was murdered just like she squirted in her knickers when she found out that Mr Epstein had been shall we say dealt with do you really want another 50 years of a Lee Harvey Oswald go nowhere end nowhere unsatisfying black magic energy sucking detour into destroying your own existence because that's the grease which wields this now this chap saying the satanic elite was saying things like these fuckers worship Molech and I'm like okay let's talk about this see this is the problem this is what comes from years of listening to your conspiracy gurus they're all Abrahamic inclined it's the synagogue of Satan I'm against the synagogue I'm against the synagogue of Satan okay and what else are you against I'm against Molech okay who told you that Molech was evil the synagogue of Satan be wise as serpents and that's probably the only biblical biblical quote you'll ever get from me Ave Lucifer and long live the horn gods.